Morning, Trainiacs. Very easy little loungy kind of recovery spin for me today. When I was at the Zwift headquarters, they told me that the all time highest amount of Zwifters at one time on the platform reached 13,000 just a few weeks ago. So that means that there are a ton of you that are new to Zwift. And that also means that there are a ton of you that need to know how to set this up. Particularly, Zwift itself and Wahoo Kicker recommend that you perform a calibration every two weeks. I haven't done one in about six months, probably like a lot of you. So today I'm going to explain how to easily and regularly and properly calibrate your Wahoo Kicker or any other trainer you've got with Swift. I didn't plan this loungy little pose, but it worked. So first, to start any calibration, what we're looking to do is get the most accurate results that we can, obviously. We've got to make sure that the power numbers that we're putting out are being reflected on Zwift. It's how you get the most realistic ride. It's how you get the best training. Now it's recommended that you recalibrate your device regardless of anything else every two weeks. Or if you have a non-direct drive trainer, like a trainer where your back wheel is still on the bike and the tension comes from just friction, that friction can change really easily. So in that case, Zwift recommends that you recalibrate your trainer every single time you ride. Regardless of that, if you have a direct drive trainer like the Wahoo Kicker, you should actually be recalibrating every two weeks or if you've moved the trainer around significantly, or if there's been a significant temperature change, or if it's been sitting out in the sun. So in all of these cases, you wanna recalibrate your device. First thing you wanna do when starting the calibration process is go for a light spin. Warm up the trainer for about 10 minutes. Just ride fairly easily for about 10 minutes. I'm gonna do that right now. All right, so once you've warmed up your trainer, you wanna do a couple of things. If this is the Wahoo Kicker, come down. First off, you gotta make sure that you've got Ant Plus or Bluetooth connection, that these lights are on and that you are connected to Zwift. Once you've got that done, hop back on your trainer and open the Wahoo Fitness app. Go into the app and once it opens, you want to go into the sensors that you've got and go to whatever trainer you need to calibrate. It's going to connect and then search for the bottom spin down because we're actually going to do the calibration for the Wahoo with the Wahoo app, not for this explanation Zwift. I'll get to that in a second. So click on spin down, perform spin down, put the phone down because you're going to need to bring the trainer up to 36 kilometers an hour. Once you hit it, stop and let it do its thing. There we go, spin down is complete. Now your Wahoo Kicker trainer is calibrated and this will communicate with Zwift. Now, what if you have a different trainer? What if you don't have the Wahoo Fitness app? What if you've got to do it within Zwift? We're gonna to get to that right after this little new message from our sponsor, Scody. By the way, if you are a Zwift person and you already have tuned out, there's a link in the description below right this minute. The Trainiac kits, the Trainiac store from Scody is live. Link is in the description below to that. This video is brought to you by Scody. Want to look as handsome training and racing as I do? Scody kits are literally the only gear I use to caress my buns and cover my chest. Sometimes. 
Scoti kits have dimpled fabric on the shoulders for aerodynamics, UV protective fabric on the back to keep you from getting sunburn, breathable fabric on the body to keep you cool, and sticky yet not tight cuffs everywhere to keep the kit in place without making you look like a sausage. Trainiac kit runs are done every few months, but order from Scoti anytime by going to scoti.com forward slash Terran, and athletes on Team Trainiac can get 11% off any Scoti order with the discount code listed in their Team Trainiac accounts. So what if you aren't using a Wahoo kicker and you need to calibrate your device, especially if it's a wheel on trainer? Well, in that case, Zwift will have an option within Zwift that you can do the calibration for. So open Zwift, by the way, follow me at T is the first name, last name is Rathlon space Terran. If you just search for Terran. So go into the app. Whoa, 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 you're falling. Go into the app and this paired devices screen that you're going to get to, you're gonna have to pair your device. So right now I need to pair my heart rate. So what's gonna happen is you're going to get to this screen here where you've got all of your paired devices and you can see the power source is indicated as being connected to the trainer. Now you can do this with Wahoo or another device. If it's another device, it's definitely going to have to be done here. You click on this wrench icon and it starts walking you through performing the calibration spin down. Click next, accelerate to 37 miles an hour, kilometers an hour. Whew. Calibration is complete, there's a success, and now you can go about your business knowing that your Wahoo Kicker or any other smart bike trainer is calibrated. Like I say, perform this every two weeks, regardless of what trainer you have. If you've moved the trainer at all, if the trainer has gone through a serious temperature change, if you've traveled much, or if you are using a wheel on bike trainer, where the resistance just comes from friction. In that case, perform this calibration before every single ride. So you go Trainiacs, now you are set up for a lifetime of accurate, realistic Zwift training. Go search Terran on Zwift, follow me there. Over the next few months for Team Trainiac, we're gonna be starting a series of group workouts and go check out the link in the description below if you wanna get yourself some Scotty gear, all right? Later, Trey.